touchy scratch I'm going to go. Okay, here. Because these are the two. I have a bit. Let's see. Now, have it in a green box. It's in a box. That's interesting. Yeah, it's going to be this on camera because that's why they want to ask. off now. Doesn't make no sense to have it. And then have this box here instead, yes. Alright. So you can see here now, look at this. Barnana, the super snack. Some weird number. A39BI. Non-GMO, logic verified, plant-based and gluten-free. Do they have anything else that they want to tell us? It's yes, that USDA, USDA organic logo. Excellent, excellent. we have in this box here. We got... Actually, hmm, do I really want to ruin the order? Actually, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to ruin the order by doing that, so we should be okay. I have to blow the desk. I don't know what I don't want. So, editing this video, and then I'm like to myself, oh my gosh, why are there so much hairs on the desk? Well, because I never bothered to blow the desk. That's why. I find it hilarious how this chip bag is pressing upon his computer right there. You cannot see it, but it's enough to apparently turn on the monitor, and I find that quite hilarious that it just did that. Okay, so put that box aside. Today, on this day, November 22, 2020, it is snowing outside, so I feel like just mentioning that, which is completely random, but you know what is interesting, so do not even pretend that you do not find that amusing. Anyways, so, I have to bring it back now, see if it's in the same order, I don't think it should be a okay. Yeah, I think it should be a okay. I think I should bring the frame to make it more interesting for you guys. Slip. No, obviously not going to show you that. That would be so dumb. Instead, I'm going to randomly show you this BlackBerry Passport. LOL. Now, how about I show you a purple toothbrush? LOL. Which brand is this? This is gum. What does this have to do with this video? Absolutely nothing. This is what you want to see. You don't care about random blackberry passports. You don't care about random toothbrushes. You care about what's in the video title. I cut that so awkwardly, it's not even funny. Alright, there we go. So yeah, they're back to that same green box down that stage. And we're going to have to do the same procedure, except for this time, rather than lining them up in a... Oh, what should we call it? A horizontal row. We're just going to do them like this. Stab them right there. I have to be careful. I don't want to stab myself. That should be horrible. So, you know, let me just take this out to the frame. Now, you can watch me stab these guys. 
Well, let me just say deflate. Yeah, let, let's just say deflate. I don't want to make it sound so morbid, you know. Yeah, have to be careful. Don't want to go too fast. Again, all right, it's on the floor, yeah. That's exactly where I put it. I just throw it on the floor because what else am I supposed to do with it? Seriously. Yeah, I'm totally doing it on paper because I'm going to use it the 60 FPS. It's the exact same as the other box, so I don't need to go over the special things. Of, oh, wait, there's something I didn't go over. And that was the fact that this box is 1.1 kilograms and 140 grams per pouch. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Box, oh no, 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 I'm gonna see there's a slightly different shape, but then I realize it actually does not. Wait, what I do realize is that I ordered some mint oil as well, and I am not seeing that, so that's quite a concern. I'm hoping that it's in this box because if it's not, then yikes! Yeah, I'm gonna have to contact them. Oh, wait, no, I thought. Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna have to contact them about it. Okay, first things first, let me just... Whoa. Uh, my setup is looking really weird now. Okay, there we go. But yeah, for those of you I think it's really extra to just show each and every package when you take out of the box, it's actually not because this can help me out by seeing if they miss something. And yeah, I'm not seeing that, so... I don't know if that's coming separately. Perhaps it is. Usually they would ship them together. This time they did not. And I do not know why they did not. Yeah, Lucky Vitamin, I'm gonna have to reach out to you guys tomorrow because you shipped them separately and I was not informed about that. Like, I mean, sometimes it happens. I would like to be informed that they're gonna do that. So yes, yeah, so like my other unboxings. I should say my other unboxing. I had the oil on the chip but this time. I don't know where the oil is. Hopefully, it's still gonna be there because if not, then I can say I'm just gonna have to write a message to them, scream at them, and I will have to just be like, Why the did you forget my order, you idiots? <laughs> Update, so as it turned out, the second part of the shipment has arrived today. They just split it in two, so it wasn't actually a big deal. Still, it would have been nice to be informed about it in the first place, but hey, it's here now, so no complaints. And why did my light just stop working for a split second? What, is the phone hot or something? I mean, I did just pull it off of the charger, so that's probably it. But still... This phone has a big vapor chamber, so I don't think heat should be that much of an... Okay, I can't raise this any further. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the size, but because it's so close to the camera frame, it's not all in frame. So I'm just going to have to pull this off of the desk, actually. And... This time... Oh my. 
lots of these. I'm not going to bother popping them because this video is already over 10 minutes, so I'm not going to make it any longer than it needs to be. Although I will open these because I have to. Alright, so that's that. Off the, actually, no, no, no. I was about to throw it to the right side of my room, and then I just realized there's a heater over there, and that would have been a very, very bad idea, so I'm not gonna actually do that. Alright, so you already know what these look like, you already know what they're about. I'm not gonna even keep them in the frame. I'm gonna take them out of the frame, actually. Still those over on my bed, and now the attention for this part of the video will be these. Okay, how do I get in here? I mean, I could just use my knife, but... Yeah. Right. Alright, I need to answer a serious question. If you're wondering why do I often buy peppermint oil in my chips, no, I do not eat the chips with the oil. In fact, I wouldn't be able to make these videos if I did that because I'd probably be dead. No, peppermint oil is not poisonous to consume, but at the same time, it's not something you just casually toss into your food and eat like that. Like, I mean, if you're putting drops of it into, like, flour to make mint cookies or cakes or whatever, then that's perfectly fine. But just don't ever go drinking large quantities of this as it is. I probably don't even need to tell you that, but I'm just saying it just in case anybody is getting even the slightest impression that I'm using this to flavor my chips. Not to mention that one tastes horribly gross, by the way. Alright, so... Here they are. Looking nice and beautiful. Lucky aromas. And now, wait. Actually, no? Okay. That's it. Video's done. <laughs> <laughs>